Hello everyone and welcome back to another Essential Albums video. This is week 16 and this week we are taking a look at uh, Queens of the Stone Age third studio album Songs from a Death released August 27th 2002. Some notable tracks off this are No One Knows, First It Giveth, Go With The Flow, and Do It Again. I really wasn't super familiar with Queens of the Stone Age until about 2005. I had heard of the band but I never had uh, literally like listened to any of their songs. And then in the first Guitar Hero game released in 2005, um, No One Knows was featured. And I think some of their other songs showed up again in some of the like Guitar Hero or uh, Rock Band games, things like that. I definitely think Go With The Flow is in there. And I think Threes and Sevens, Threes and Sevens, which is off of a different album. But this week we are looking at um, Songs For The Death, just a really good album. Um, I didn't listen to it in its entirety until I want to say like sometime last year I kind of got into it and really like this album. Um, I don't love when bands have kind of like fake radio spots in um, on their albums like hey you're listening to such and such a radio and this is a thing going on or whatever it might be. Um, I find this album beat is the exception to that because it I guess the story is like, it's a person driving from LA to Joshua Tree and the song starts off with, I think it's called Clone Radio, and you basically hear the person start their car, shut their door, uh, tune, in, tune in the radio station, and then um, throughout the album, you actually have other radio stations, because it's a, if it's a, especially if it's an FM radio station, they're going to, you know, like get out of range, and then you, you know, turn to a different station, and I think it's handled really well in this album. I don't, like I said, I don't love when, um, when songs do that, um, if it doesn't, like, in one song or two songs, it's, I definitely don't like it, but I, I think it was better here because it was, like, basically a through line through the entire album was um, these kind of, like, these radio stations as they're driving to, uh, like I said, to Joshua Tree, I believe. But um, one thing I really liked about this is uh, Dave Grohl is also on this album, so I didn't know this at the time, but, like, he ha was having some issues with the Foo Fighters, and then kind of joined up with Queens of the Stone Age and did drums on this album. And his drumming on this album is really, really good. I remember playing in some of the, I think it was Rock Band, and there's uh, some songs from this, uh, not necessarily from this album, but from Queens of the Stone Age and Rock Band. And all the Dave Grohl drum songs in that, in like the DLC for those games are like late, like labeled as like very, like almost the highest difficulty you could get with drums. So. His drumming is really on point with this album. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the track list here. So uh, the track list has, it's track zero is called The Real Song for the Death. And I haven't listened to, to this on CD, but um, from what I was reading, song zero is you have to basically go to track one and then rewind to track zero. And then you get this kind of hidden track. It was kind of interesting because it's usually a hidden track is kind of at the end of an album, not something that you have to basically rewind through at the beginning of the album. So at track zero, we have the real song for the death. At track one, you have, you think I ain't worth a dollar, but I feel like a millionaire. Uh, that's the one where I think where Clone Radio shows up. Two is No One Knows. That was probably the first song I heard from them because it was, like I said, a guitar, the first Guitar Hero game. Then we have First It Giveth. Really good song. Really love that one. It's one of my favorites on the album. Next up, we have Song from the Dead. After that, at track five, we have The Sky Has Fallen. Um, at track six, we have Six Shooter. At track seven, we have uh, Hanging Tree. Track eight, we have Go With The Flow. Another really good good uh, track there. Track nine is Gonna Leave You. That's a really good one as well. Track 10, Do It Again, also very good. 11, uh, God Is In The Radio. Uh, track 12 is another love song. And then at track 13, we have Song From The Dead. It's a um, hidden outtake version of um, Feel Good, A Hit Of The Summer. And then uh, we have uh, Mosquito Song, which is track 14, which is a hidden track. And I don't know which version I have been listening to because I have one that has, um, let me see, it's not the limited edition, it might be the tour edition. I believe it has a Spanish version of one of the songs on there. Um, yeah, it might be, the, it might be the, like, yeah, because it's going to leave you Spanish version. That's the one I've been listening to. So I think, I guess that's the, the Japanese version. Because it does show up when I play it on, um, that one also shows up on iTunes. It's kind of weird. If I don't know if they're using the Japanese version or if they're just using like a collect, like a collective version that has kind of like all the bonus tracks on it. 
But uh, yeah, this album, probably their best album. It's the only one that I've listened to all the way through. I know a few other songs from that mostly come from the Rock Band games or Guitar Hero games. But um, Song for the Deaf is just really good. Like I say, um, the, I guess, the, like I said, the concept is, again, going from L.A. to Joshua Tree. I guess the, the running joke with Queens of the Stone Age, or at least from what I've read in some of the uh, like social media for the band or on Reddit, is all the songs are about doing drugs in the desert or something like that. So, like, I, again, I'm not a huge fan of the band. I don't really know their entire discography. But um, after listening to this, I've gone back and listened to a few other songs. I might pick up some more of their CDs or um, download, like, buy them digitally or something like that at some point. But... That is going to do it for this video. Again, this has been for uh, Queens of the Stone Age Songs for the Death. Again, this is week 16 of this album series. We're going to be going all the way until the end of the year, getting up to, to uh, 52 albums over the course of the rest of the year. Again, that's going to do it for now. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching. Take care.